hunger steak, also known as a butcher steak or hanging tenderloin, is a cut of beef steak prized for its flavor. The best way to cook hunger steak is to cook it quickly over high heat. Definitely the kind of steak you will find in most bistro menus. Best steak side dishes are wilted spinach, sautéed or grilled or braised vegetables, mezclam mix, pomme purée, robuchon style, and of course, french fries. Let's get started. First chapter, Béarnaise sauce. And I'm going to show you two different methods, traditional and sous vide. Béarnaise is a fat in water emulsion. Melted butter is emulsified into reduction of white wine and vinegar, flavored with shallots, tarragon, and chervil, all bound and thickened with egg yolks. It's technically a derivative of Hollandaise, which is an emulsion of water and lemon juice, one of the five French mother sauces, Hollandaise, Bechamel, Velouté, Espagnol, and Tomato. Béarnaise pairs very well with grilled meat, fish, and poached eggs. It is also extremely versatile. Check this out. Here are some Béarnaise variations. Paloise sauce is a Béarnaise in which mint is added in place of tarragon, great for lamb. Corail sauce is a Béarnaise made out of lobster roe instead of eggs. Choron sauce is a Béarnaise with tomato paste great for fish, and sauce for you is a Béarnaise mixed with glace de viande. So the wine reduction is composed of tarragon stems, chervil, shallots, pepper, red or white vinegar, and white wine. So let it reduce on low heat to extract as much flavor as possible. So it's going to take some time to reduce, okay? And do not reduce too dry. It's a mistake because if you don't have enough liquid to start your sabayon with the egg yolks, you're going to have to compensate the lack of moisture by adding a splash of water. Adding water to the eggs is what actually most Béarnaise recipes suggest, but yet it doesn't connect the dots. And also, we are not going to use clarified butter. Watch. Well, looks like uh, the wine reduction is ready. So I'm going to pass through a sieve and you want to press down solids to extract as much flavor as possible. So like I said earlier, you want to end up with about three tablespoons of wine reduction. That's about 50 grams and that's what you want for the next step. And I like to use my saucier. Why? Because of this the rounded edge. It helps the whisk glides against the curved walls. I mean, a straight-sided saucepan would do the job. It just makes your life easier. And a saucier is meant to be used for sauces anyway. So, <laughs> it's up to you. All right, so let's concentrate on that particular step now. You want to emulsify the wine reduction uh, with the salt, pepper, and egg yolks. Whisk constantly, moving the pan on and off from the heat until a creamy sauce is obtained. Turn off the heat and add hot butter gradually. As you can witness, the milk solids sit at the bottom of the container. It goes without saying that Béarnaise or Hollandaise sauce calls for clarified butter. The truth is, whole butter can be used instead, fat and milk solids. And this is what the following recipe, Béarnaise sous vide method, is going to demonstrate. Perfect. You know, I tend to agree with those who think that cooking sous vide may not be the answer for everything. However, for some specific items, it's a game changer. Super easy and straightforward. Bag up everything. Wine reduction, egg yolks, salt and butter. Melted or cut into chunks it works. Cook for 45 minutes at 174 degrees Fahrenheit, 79 Celsius. After 45 minutes, transfer the egg fat mixture into a narrow container. Now, your immersion blender is going to do the job, and quite beautifully. 
No risk, no sauce pan, no effort involved. Look at the texture, just incredible. Now, I'm gonna show you a great way to prepare and grill your vegetables. Here, I've got some uh, bell peppers, yellow squash, and zucchini. You may want to add uh, some greens, such as blanched baby broccoli, seasoned with olive oil or grapeseed oil, salt, pepper, thyme, and the secret ingredient, parmigiano reggiano. Soyons fou. That's gonna give a nice little kick. More olive oil here, and I'm going to let this marinate for a little bit. That's something you can make a day ahead if you like. And then I'm going to turn on the barbecue outside and see what happens. So by the time it eats up, I'm going to take care of the steak. So I'm going to lightly grease both sides with high smoke point oil and season with salt. Pepper will be added once grilled. Grill veggies 10 minutes on both sides, but that depends on the size and the type of vegetables. It should take longer for the zucchinis, for instance. Also, you can grill veggies indoor using your cast iron griddle. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you another great side dish that pairs greatly with steak, wilted spinach. So. Here is the best way to enjoy it. Heat up a large pot, and I mean it. Add a drizzle of olive oil, a pinch of salt, and crushed garlic. Throw in their spinach, two thirds of it. And less than 60 seconds later, it's gonna be wilted. So what you wanna do towards the end, you wanna add the remaining fresh spinach. Stir that up 10 seconds, and you'll get this. Next, the steak. Heat up your cast iron griddle or barbecue and rewarm the Béarnaise sauce. So in order to get the perfect caramelization called Maya reaction, you want to seal the meat over a red hot device. So this kind of steak, a hanger or skirt, which are not that thick, should take three minutes per side for medium rare and juicy steak. Season meat with ground black pepper and let rest for five minutes. Immediately reheat spinach on the steel hot griddle. Cut steak against the grain and plate. Serve your Béarnais sauce separately in a sauce boat or under the meat or on top. Bon appétit. Now we are going to talk about two important things. The first one is fixing a Béarnaise sauce. And the second, the best way to store Béarnaise. So you could be professionally trained in cooking and still manage to separate your Béarnaise. It's a fact, emulsion sauces sometimes break or separate. Just like when making mayonnaise, the main reason your sauce will separate is because the fat has been added too fast or the mixture has melted due to excessive heat. If your Béarnaise sauce separates, put the pan in a freezer for 10 minutes and quickly whisk back over the flame until it has returned to normal consistency. Remember, Béarnaise is best served just warm. Next, the best way to store your Béarnaise. All right, so let's try something. This is the Béarnaise I made yesterday. So it's been chilled overnight in the refrigerator. So I'm going to resuscitate the sauce. So I'm going to start with a cold pan, okay, very important. Turn on the heat on medium-low. Now you want to add a splash of hot water, just about a tablespoon, and begin to whisk slowly. And then when uh, it softens up, whisk faster until it has returned to normal consistency, like a runny mayonnaise. Remove pan from the heat, done. That's beautiful. Perfect. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day. Bon appétit. See you soon.